The Airbus ACJ220 is a version of the popular C-Series passenger jet, created by Bombardier before the Airbus acquired the division, and is intended to combine the best of all worlds, a luxurious cabin for comfort, the range of an airliner thanks to the amount of fuel it can carry, and fuel-efficient engines that make it cost-effective. Here's everything you need to know about the Airbus ACJ220. Stay with us until the end of the video to learn more about this aircraft. The huge cabin is divided into six distinct living areas. It can accommodate 18 passengers, more than 100 bags, and is 78 feet or 24 meters long, 10 feet 8 inches or 3.3 meters wide, and 6 feet 6 inches or 1.98 meters tall. The forward living areas are open concept featuring live flat club seats and divans with plenty of leg room. Passengers can look forward to cushy solo seats and sofas, a massive dining table for eight supported by a full galley kitchen with its own chef's and restaurant grade equipment. The coffee tables extend to become elegant dining spaces or can be removed completely so there's even more space for passengers. The company can also supply a DJ and turn the middle of the jet into a dance floor. The plane also features a cine lounge for enjoying movies and TV shows on a large 55-inch 4K screen, which can be very useful for long flights. A six-feet conference space then comprises the next living area as one moves further into the plane. Airbus claims that the connectivity inside the cabin will be two times better than its competitors. In the ceiling above, the plane features an LED lighting system and Wi-Fi up to 50 megabits per second. And along the cabin walls, Electrochromatic windows that dim at the touch of a button and eliminate the need for window shades. USB sockets at each seat along with credenzas and cabinets with inductive chargers will enable better connectivity. The modern design will also integrate advanced soundproofing materials, a temperature control system, HEPA filters, and an integrated cabin humidification system that will refresh cabin air every three minutes with one-way air flow. And of course, a king-size bed in the master bedroom comes in handy on the longer flights of which the jet is capable. The master bedroom features its own office, fully private bathroom with a rain shower, and another large 55-inch 4K TV. The plane has a flexible cabin catalog to provide the optimal interior arrangements that can be built in for the passengers. The cabins will be offered in three style motifs, a traditional style called Timeless, a classic look named Quintessence, and a modern motif dubbed Avant-Garde. The cockpit is the same you'll find in an Airbus A220-100. It was developed to be simple, cost-effective, and smart, while also reducing pilot workload and encouraging more heads-up flying. It accommodates a two-member flight crew comprising a pilot and a co-pilot, and features a Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion Integrated Avionics System. The screen used for FMS is not like in older airplanes. There is no hardware buttons and it's all graphical. Pilots control it with a cursor control device and have select keys on the side. The flight deck includes a phase of flight management system, two mode fly-by-wire flight controls and side stick controllers. The flight deck also incorporates large LCD screens, dual flight management system, dual cursor control devices, navigation, communications, surveillance, engine indication and crew alerting system, and aircraft maintenance systems. The flight deck can also be equipped with an optional dual electronic flight bag, single or dual head-up display, and Cat 3 Autoland capability. The line replaceable modules are housed in two physically separated cabinets to ease the maintenance and optimize weight. Talking about performance, some 40% of the ACJ220 is made from advanced materials such as carbon fiber. That makes it lighter and means it burns 25% less fuel than similar sized aircraft. Thrust is provided by two newly designed Pratt & Whitney PW1500G turbofans that admit lower emissions and half the noise footprint of earlier generation engines. With each one producing 23,300 pounds of thrust, the engines are able to push the aircraft to a maximum cruise speed of 470 knots and up to a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12.5 kilometers. 
The aircraft's increased range will enable it to fly up to 5,650 nautical miles, which is 6,500 miles or 10,500 kilometers and over 12 flight hours, directly connecting city pairs such as London and Los Angeles, Tokyo and Dubai, as well as Beijing and Melbourne. The plane can take off at 4,800 feet or 1,460 meters and has a landing distance of 4,550 feet or 1,385 meters, all while maintaining a maximum payload of 33,000 pounds or 15,000 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new ACJ220 is 81 million before options, with well-optioned models even surpassing the $100 million mark. The charter price is estimated at $10,000 per hour, and naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. Airbus acquired the A220 program, formerly known as the C-Series, from Bombardier in two big bites in 2017 and 2020 for the price of $591 million. Canadian airframer Bombardier began work on the program in the late 1990s and formally launched it in 2008. Bombardier had revolutionized the commuter airline market in the early 1990s with the CRJ line of regional jets, basically stretched versions of its popular Challenger 600 business jets and decided to set its sights higher. From the start, this prompted more than a little market skepticism and comparisons to the Greek mythological character Icarus, who plunged to his death after flying too close to the sun. Bombardier appears to have been either brashly brilliant or diluted by terminal hubris. The ostensible goal was to compete directly with Airbus and Boeing in what for decades has been a duopoly in the single aisle commercial market by offering an aircraft that was lighter and more fuel efficient. Bombardier was in for some hard lessons on the C-Series, which drove the company deep into the red. Between 2014 and 2019, losses amounted to $10 billion. In 2015 alone, it lost $5.35 billion, prompting an emergency infusion of $1.3 billion into the company from Quebec and federal governments. Because of this, by 2020, Airbus acquired 100% of the C-Series from Bombardier, which later became the A220 program. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching.